All right, I've got some text here and I've got a shape and I'm going to talk about how to center both the text and the shape. So over here on the uh, HTML, CSS, uh, I've got the paragraph text and that's inside of a div titled uh, chart-container and then I've got the uh, rectangle down here. have to put the rectangle inside of an SVG tag and so for the text, it's real simple. Um, you're going to come up here to the chart container and do um, text-align center. I'll save that. Control S to save and refresh F5. And you see that centers it. We could also do a completely different uh, the P tag here and just do text align center that would also work however we want to keep it inside of this div because if we were to do that on the P tag that would center all of our paragraph text on the web page so this is just centering the um, text inside of the div of chart container and you can see that that's highlighted on here in turquoise call it aquamarine um, so that's the text. Now the symbol, the rectangle, what we're going to have to do is uh, it's going to be this three up here. Display is going to be flex, justify contents, uh, center. This is going to move it um, side to side. It's going to center it as far as left to right is concerned. And then align items will center it as far as up and down is concerned. However, you can see it's under the SVG tag here, and that's not working. Um, so what we have to do is we have to move it by encompassing the SVG into a div tag. So we're going to say div ID is going to equal test for the time being. That's the name we're assigning it. And then close it off down here. We'll tab out those. <clears throat> and then up here, uh, so we've already de defined it here, a hashtag for when we say ID. So we're using hashtag test. We want the background color to be green. So I'm going to save that and refresh it. You can see it adds that green background. So now we have the blue SVG element, light blue, inside of this div named test that's green. And so to center it, we're going to put this display, justify contents, align items inside of the test. And that centers it there. So now if we move it sort of left to right, let's see, am I doing that? Yeah. You can see it's keeping that spacing. Just to show how this is working a little bit, I'm going to um, change the height on this to the div to um, 200 pixels. And then I'm going to shrink the SVG to height to 100 pixels. And so you can see that's centered it right there, as even though so now the SVG is smaller than it's the div in the background. You can see it's still centered it. And if we take off the align items, what you'll see is it'll go to the very edge. All right, so it went to the top. So to move it around from left to right to up to down, how we would do that for the align items to get it to the top, we would say flex-start. What you'll see is it'll move to the top there. To get it to the bottom, we'll say flex dash end. I'll get that to the bottom there. And then to get it to the left side, it would just be the directions on justify contents. So you just say left up here, that gets to the left side. And if you go right, go to the right side. Okay, so then we can use these two items to move it around and like we said if we wanted to be center we would just say center 
and then center down here. One final thing I want to note here is that what we were moving around was not the rectangle itself, but actually the SVG. The SVG is like uh, if you were an artist and you were painting something, you would have a blank canvas to draw on, and you can't go outside the lines of the canvas, right? But you can paint anywhere inside of the canvas. That's what the SVG is. It's like the canvas, and then we put all our shapes inside of this SVG. And so you can see here, we've got the rectangle and we've added uh, these parameters down here to tell it exactly where inside the SVG to paint that rectangle, where inside to paint that circle. And then we set fill equals the color there. And you can see up here inside, we've got our rectangle uh, centered there and then uh, the red uh, circle up to the top right. And the actual shapes does not abide by the centering that we did up here. That just controls the canvas, the SVG canvas. And then down here, what actually controls where these are placed inside of the canvas is this X and Y. So if we wanted to move it to the left, we would change this to 20. So if we did, uh, did that there, it would move it to the left. And then if we did, let's say 80, it would move it over to the right. So if we move the X and the Y to zero, what we'll see is that it's now in the very top left. So the X is controlling it from left to right, the, the very left edge, and then the Y is controlling it uh, where it's placed on top to bottom on the canvas, uh, and it's go going from the very top edge. So with the X, our max value would be 100 because we have a canvas width of 200. Uh, but keep in mind, we can't move it to 200 because the width of it uh, on the right side is 100. Okay, so if we wanted it to be on the far right side, we would have to do 200 minus uh, 100. So 100 would put it on that far right side can see if we do 90 you can see there's some space there so that's so 100 would be our max value there and then the same thing with the height we would take 100 and we would minus it by uh, 50 50 is the represents how far down from the top the yellow rectangle spans so from top to bottom this is 50 pixels and then our canvas from our blue canvas from top to bottom is 100 pixels so to move this down, we can only move it down 50 pixels before our bottom edge reaches the bottom of that blue canvas. So we come here and say 50. That'll move it to the bottom there. 